is it that you're able to still find so many good apartment deals? Mm -hmm. Deals. They're yeah. not just good yeah. buys, they're deals. Yeah, for sure. That's well, and again, I think you know, we've done the work a lot of times people are not willing to do. And what I mean by that is developing the relationships with the key parties that are the real people that are transacting the business. And so, you know, what I mean by that is, you know, our size apartment communities call it five to fifty million dollars. 90% of those, I'd even probably say 95% of those are going to trade majority through brokerage firms just because they're not mom and pop sellers. And mm -hmm. so we've developed those relationships with the guys that are the you know top three uh, firms in, in any market we operate in. And they know us to be a proven executor, right? So that's one thing. And then two, another piece of it is we've done the work or the groundwork a lot of times, even with those relationships, like, you know, we're entering into the Tampa market here. Uh, we've looked at this market and we're making our first purchase right now. But in the process of doing that, we kind of eat some crap sandwiches, right? Like you've got to, you know, do some difficult things, underwrite a bunch of turds that you know are turds beforehand. But you've got to be able to do that to be able to explain why back in the relationship, hey, you know, this numbers don't work and this doesn't work and this doesn't work so that the people understand that. And then, you know, thankfully for us, the transaction volume we've done and then also the size of the company we are, you know, we are a highly recommended visible operator. And so that opens it up. So when we have uh, those off market opportunities like this deal we're doing in Tampa, it was an off market property. Um, and so we were able to kind of bring it together. It was actually two sellers and bring it together and uh, execute on it to create a great deal. Um, and so, you know, the, the, the truth is, and I tell this to other people, it's like there's certain people in certain markets, like they're never even going to see that property. What they're right. going to see on, uh, you know, LoopNet is just a piece of crap that nobody wanted. Right. Like, and, and because in that space, it's being transacted in that manner. And so, you know, we put in the difficult work to get those relationships. Mm -hmm. Another example would be where you got some guy that's kind of like a dirt bag. He kind of retrades the broker on his commission, you know, which that's yeah. like, that's dude, live up to your word for God's sake. Sure. That's like, right. you know, let your yes be yes and your no be no kind of a little ancient throwdown from the scripture. Uh, <laughs> and right. Uh, but like, so we've come in and said, dude, look, Hey, that's wrong. You did a ton of work on this thing. Put that 25 grand on my side. Now, most people wouldn't do that. They're like, are you freaking kidding me? That's $25,000 dude on a $12 million <laughs> purchase. That's 25 grand. Right. And it, yes. That's 25 grand out of my pocket, but it also was the right thing to do. Right. I didn't have to do it, but it demonstrates the level of character and integrity we operate by. And that's where that guy knows Hey man, I got this great deal that John's wanting to sell. Who am I going to bring it to? The guy that's a scumbag or the guy that's integrous like Randy that that's closes right. and lives up to his promise. That's so, exactly right. you know, I think people look for the secret bullet to success and it's like, it's, 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 it's doing the right thing. It's doing the right thing over a long period of time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Day in, day out doing it, even when it feels like crap and you don't want to do it. Right. You do it anyway, you know. That's exactly right. That's one of our core values. Yeah, it, it's doing hard the right to be thing even when only God's watching. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's hard to be relational when your mindset is transactional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, uh, that that really it shows up, and you're constantly having to look for new people. If you're a transactional person, mm -hmm. if you're relational. You're just concentrating on those relationships and the business will come. Right. For sure. Um, 